Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about something very interesting. Server-side pagination with React table or TAN stack table inside Next.js 13. And uh, I got this comment a few days ago about how to do that. Um, and let me just share my screen. And uh, I, I actually did this a few days ago on a project I was working on. Um, well, server-side filters and searching as well, but I'll just implement pagination for the today. And uh, it pretty much is the same concept uh, for the other two as well. And also I saw a tweet by Sudman um, on this today about how he was making a table component for that. And I was reminded on how um, I just, it literally, it kind of clarified uh, the uh, way I was doing it was correct or not. And it's working pretty well for me. Um, so to start off with, I'll just uh, share uh, how it looks right now. This is what uh, I built. It basically is a table with students data. It has name section marks. And basically the concept is that it has 100 um, students right now and I just seeded it using a using Faker and I can it has 10 pages uh, which is basically 10 100 divided by 10 which is 10 pages and you can literally do next and this is all um, done on the server and you're not fetching any data on the client and it will just fetch data from the server and show it over here and you can do next you can go first page you can go last page you can go previous page and all that so let's build this um well i won't build this from scratch but i'll go through what all things i did to make this work first of all i just got a basic prisma setup working you can use this with drizzle um or anything you're working with i just wanted to get something up and running quickly uh so i got uh, this schema up and running let me just zoom in really quick um i hope this is visible so i have a model student i have an id name section and marks that's it. I just have this one table and I'm querying it for the this. I, I had the seeder which basically seeds 100 uh, users into it and that's how I got these 100 users. Not even relevant but I just wanted to make that clear. So basically uh, what I'm doing is I have the students. I'm not using these components directly. Let me remove that. So I have the students page over here. And what I'm doing in the students pages, first of all, I'm, uh, let me start over here. I'm querying for all the students. Just ignore this part right now. I'm getting all the uh, total students. So I ignore all this. I'm getting the students and then passing it over here. The student table. Let me actually move my camera to the right hand side. Yeah. So basically the student table, what that is doing is it has these columns with the column helper uh, of uh, react table. I don't need these. Uh, react table I have three columns the name section and the marks which are over here name section and marks uh, using the column helper accessor I am assuming you have a basic knowledge of react table and how this works for uh, this video to make sense for you I'm passing the data or the students which is being passed in as the props and the columns which are being uh, you know defined over here and the code get core row model I'm getting the header groups all this uh, which are the headers over here, the name section and the marks. I'm getting uh, the body, the table get rows, the all the rows and the cells are being rendered over here. And we can ignore this pagination. For now. So basically, this is the basic table, which I would have done if I didn't have any pagination. Uh, I wouldn't have had all this. I wouldn't have had the skip and take. I just had the find many and pass in students. And then I would have rendered it over here. All right. But in this case, I'm doing a little bit of pagination. I tell you how it works right now. So basically, if you look at the top, uh, this URL over here, this has the search parameter page is equal to one. Well, this works without page is equal to one as well, because I've done a little bit of work over here. So basically, I'm getting the search params from the students page. So uh, any uh, next year's page you have that also uh, renders back. Let me just show you. If this was a page, all these pages have the search params field. The search params is basically what is being passed after the question mark and will and will be the second search param, right? So I have this and I'm getting the search param page from here. By default, I'm setting it to one. That is why I'm getting this first page over here if I don't have any page, but this 
to make it more explicit you can have a page is equal to one over here all right let me just zoom in here as well yeah so i have this page is equal to one over here so i'm getting this page is equal to one and i'm passing that into a pass int if that fails i'm setting page is equal to one um just in case uh i passed in say a, a wrong page over here it it did not work hmm interesting n a n so i pass in okay pass in apparently hmm i guess you can do one over here like that that should work yeah so i don't really need this but just in case this pass in fails for some reason uh it shouldn't now that i think so you can do this over here but page is equal to one is fine um so then i can get the students uh using this this is a prisma way to do this it will work differently for drizzle or whatever thing you're using i'm just skipping the amount of pages basically if i'm on page number three right so i want to skip two times ten so basically i want to skip ten rows and then have ten rows after that which is the take so this basically again page number three i want to skip page uh, two pages uh, into well 10 rows in this case which is coming from here and i want to take 10 more rows so that is what is being uh, done over here the total students is just a count of all the students if you're doing some kind of where filter you can pass it over here as well but make sure the where is uh, same for here and here both so if you uh, change that the logic will not work um, properly so make sure those two are the similar what i'm doing over here is just a basic condition can next page is basically if my total number of students is uh, more than 10 times page number so basically if i'm on page number nine i will have 90 pages uh, 90 rows already right so this is this will be 90 page number into this and i have 100 students so 100 is greater than 90 so i can have one more page but if i'm on the 10th page i am on 100 right so total students in that case is not greater than 100 100 is not greater than 100 right so i have a can next page over here can previous page is just a um it's a very basic uh logic if page number is greater than one i can go to the previous page that's it right and the total pages it's just a ceiling of total students divided by react uh, table pagination limit in this case i have um, 100 rows and it is uh, perfectly dividing uh, so if i let me just comment this out 100 by 100 sorry 10 will give me 10 pages right but say i had um, 101 pages sorry 101 uh, rows 105 rows say this by 10 would basically give me 10.5 right but i can't have 10.5 pages i want to ha i would need 11 pages so uh basically what is happening is mat dot seal of 10.5 would give me 11 so i will have 11 pages over here and that is the total pages all right so i have these two uh, these three conditions over here and i'm passing those over here so i'm passing the students the can next page can previous page total pages and page number i am in so all i need to do now is in the filter down below this is basic styling i took from shadskin's library this is the i copy pasted the classes from there um but uh, you can ignore that i just wanted a decent enough ui to make this video so basically i have this flex over here which is this part uh, if I can go to a previous page, I will show the buttons. Um, I will show these buttons, right? Sorry, let's go first and we'll go next. I will show these two buttons, the first and the previous page. So if I go can go to the previous page, I will have this link, uh, the slash students page is equal to one. I can choose to ignore that, but I want it to be a little explicit in this case. Uh, I go to the first page by going to page one. I can go to the previous page. How do I go to the previous page? If I am on page number, say, three, I go to the previous page, that will be page number two. So I will go page number minus one. Now I'm just showing the current page, a uh, page of the total number of pages. And can next page, I will show the next page links. So next page will be page number plus one and page will be total pages. 
and that is basically it this took me like not more than 15 minutes to get it up and running i just took a little bit of time for the ui but other than that this was absolutely simple to get this uh, up and running with and if you want uh, you can add filtering logic over here say you can have stuff like filter is equal to um, all the columns you want to filter it by and have all these working with search params and it will be um, awesome to get it up and running with um, so that is it for this video uh, if you have mo uh, more questions about how to use uh, react table on how to use um, well stuff like uh, or different things in nextjs 13 and uh, around that area please do uh, write it down in the comments and i'll uh, come up with something for the same and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and i'll be coming with more such content in the future so keep watching goodbye